Hey everyone, we're gonna learn a lesson on using variables to write expressions for pattern rules. And uh, it's a little bit wordy, but it's actually easier than it sounds. So I will show you exactly what that looks like. Um, and it's gonna be super fun. Just gotta share my screen so that you can get a visual of what I'm looking at. And here we go. So. Here's our uh, title, Using Variables to Write Expressions for Pattern Rules. Um, and so this is what you need to know as far as writing expressions. This is an expression right here, n plus, and then we would put a number like one or five or four or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, it could be any number. We'll have to figure out what the number is based on the pattern we're given. Um, but it's gonna, always going to look like this. Um, it could also look like n minus something. It won't because I don't think we have any questions with minus. But just keeping in mind, it doesn't always have to be plus. It's just we're going to be working with adding for today. So let's look at the first example. We're going to do three examples in this video. Um, and so it's going to prepare you for the assignment that you've got to do. So um, if you're given this question, and it says figure one, figure two, figure three, figure four, figure five, you'll notice. And then it has shape that a shape that continues to grow. Um, and then you've got a chart over here that says figure number and number of squares. And so the first thing that we want to do is fill out the chart because it will help us figure out how to um, answer our question, which is going to be, what is the expression? So figure number is found right here. So figure number is always going to start with one, and then it's always going to have a two, and then a three, and then a four, and a five, and continuing on. This jagged part right here, that means that the um, pattern continues, just like we just pretend that this pattern continues on forever. Um, that's why it's jagged there, to show that it could continue. And we're going to imagine that it does. Um, and then for number of squares, all we have to do is go back to each figure number and see how many squares there are in each one, and then write that number. So in figure one, we've got one, two, three, four, and then we write it in. In this one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and we write it in. And continuing on, um, here we go. <laughs> yep, there we go. I uh, pre-wrote some of it in for you. Um, and so we've got it written down for our chart. That's the easy part. Um, the next part's a little bit more complicated, but it's not that bad. So what we're going to be doing is writing an expression. Now, remember when we looked at that on the on the second page um, in the slides, we've got either n plus something or n minus something. And I told you already, we're always going to be using the plus. So we're just going to put a little circle around that. Um, and the reason why I, uh, we're always going to be using plus is because for us, our figures are always going to get bigger. Uh, they could get smaller, and then we would use minus, but we're going to use plus, adding. Um, and so I'll show you how to figure out what the expression is. So as I said, it's always going to start as n plus. And what that n represents is the figure number. So you could put any one of these numbers in place of n, and it would be true. We just have to figure out what that would be. So um, this is, so n equals figure number. We always have to remember that. Okay. So um, when we're writing the, the expression, all we need to do is, and I always go to the first one because it's super easy to, to subtract one. All we're going to do is we're going to go, okay, this, this is figure one. That's a number one right there. So we're going to pretend that one of these boxes is already taken up. Then we're going to count the rest of the boxes. One, two, three boxes. So that is what our expression is, n plus three, and it's always gonna work for this expression. For figure two, we've got a two there, so we fill in two of the boxes, and we have one, two, three left. Oh, look at that, there's three. Same thing would work for, th for figure three, color in three, there's three left. Figure four, color in four, there's three left. Figure five, color in five, there's three left. It always works that way. If you did not have the shapes, uh, you could just think of, What's one less than four? What's one less than five? What's one less than six? And it would continue on um, because that's the way that this would work. Or not one less, one less than five, two less than five, three less than six, four less than seven, five less than eight. So you're almost subtracting the two numbers to find this number. So that's how um, expressions work. Let's look at another example and take it a little bit further. 
So we've got the figure numbers here, one, two, three, four, five, just like I said, they continue on to be uh, one, always two, always three, always four, and always five. And then we're gonna look at the number of dots in each one because that's what it's looking for. So the number of dots in this one, we've got one, two dots. So we write the number two. We've got three dots in the next one, four dots in the next one. And you might notice that these pretty much always go up by one on this side too, because we're really focusing on the expressions not finding the simple pattern. So first step, write an expression for the pattern. So it is increasing, so it's gonna be N plus, and then we just gotta figure out what that plus is. So we could go to our picture and go figure one. Well, that's the number one, so we get rid of a dot, and how many dots are there left? There's one dot. Or you could take, go over here, go, hmm, we've got a number two here, subtract the figure number one minus two, and we're left with one. Same way. Six minus five left with one. It would work either way. Now, the reason why we want to do this is because we could figure out how many dots are in any figure number this way without continuing the chart for forever. So, for example, if we are looking for in this yellow sticky note here, the tenth figure. So imagine this figure number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could fill out the chart. It wouldn't take that long, but there's a faster way. What you're going to do to figure this out is the n remember how n replaces any one of these numbers well it's going to be replaced with 10. so we're going to put a 10 and keep everything else the same plus one what's 10 plus one i know you guys know the answer it is 11. so that means that the number of dots in figure 10 would be 11 dots amazing okay Oop, that says dots there we go dots so the last question that we're going to do together in this video is um, this one. And it, it's a little bit different. It's not a drawing, but it's going to be very similar. So what we're given here is the term value. So you can see here, I covered up the box because that was the easiest way to do it. Um, but so in here, the figure number, the first one's always just the first. That's just the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. So figure number is still going to be one, two, three four five and continuing oops my four is all funny there we go so if it helps we can write this on here for you you just have to copy it down onto a piece of paper and write that um and then the term values well term term uh figure number here one goes with seven so seven goes here then eight goes here then nine then ten and 11 and we assume it just continues that's what these dot, dots right here mean that means that the pattern continues on um, so first we have to figure out our expression so it's n plus and then we figure out what it is so for this we're just going to have to use the strategy of take the term value and subtract one from it so seven minus one is six so our expression is n plus six that works for any number so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it a little bit harder. We're gonna find the number of dots in the 30th figure. 30th, remember we did 10th last time, now we're gonna do the 30th. It's not gonna be that hard though, because all you have to do, remember, is put 30 in place of n. So we put 30 where n goes, keep plus six the same, and then solve. 30 plus six is 36. So that means if we were to continue this pattern on and find, continuing on, so we found 30 of them, we would get to the number 36. And so that is how that works um, for our um, terms and finding an expression. So do the questions that go with this and then um, continue on.